you have couch lock, which is a term that like um, potheads have, right? To where your motivation is just zero. Right. Um, and you just want to sit on the couch. Then what you should start, and, that, and the idea of getting off the couch and doing something is overwhelming. Right. What you should do is move one pinky. Move something. Yeah. Even if it's as small as moving one pinky, and it triggers in your brain uh, a progression. It's right. It's what it is. It's a progression. Right. You know? And then you're able to move your hand, move your arm, and eventually you're off the couch. You know, it takes about 10 seconds, really. But what you, it signals to your brain that you're ready for a progression because we were wired to progress in life. Right. We're wired to... Uh, to not stay stagnant. Depression <clears throat> really comes about uh, out of stagnation. You know, you're not you're not doing anything. Right. Does that make sense? Right. Those are for the natural and the yeah, and, and the mind. Yeah, and then it goes cyclical because you're not doing anything, and then you get more depressed about not. That's doing exactly anything right. And continue to not do. The spiritual side of it, you're not doing something to uh, to get more from God. The spiritual side of it is um, doing something to get moving, to grow up spiritually, to progress spiritually in some area. Right. Right. Decide, you know, don't take on a project of like, I'm going to read the whole Bible this year. Do you know what I mean? That's almost too much if you're, unless you're used to doing that much. Right, unless it's just a, a part of the regression, progression. You have to go from zero to sixty. That's to right, zero to five. Yeah. But normally, that's the normal mind frame, right. mindset. Is uh, I need my, I need some spiritual growth, so I'm going to read the whole Bible this year. And come on, that's probably wouldn't help you anyway. And it, it, it becomes rote. Yeah, I did it about ten years ago, so that if anybody asked me, you can't. Hear me. Yeah. But I didn't read it. I threw it on audio and did other things while listening. Even but, inside of that, there's a yeah. stagnation. In yeah, it was something. I, I, I mean, ten years on, it didn't do any good. That, exactly. It was just so someone could, if they asked me, I'm like, yeah, I got that my body. But like, pick a subject. You know, if you want to know more of what God has to say about healing, you know, pick right. a need that you have in your life. Right. If it's healing, or if it's um, whatever, if you have a need in your life. Right. So, like. I got a, a no to move forward in what I'm doing on the platform musically. I need to be able to instrumentally do something. Mm -hmm. And I can't sit on a piano because there's no room for another one. So I knew about six months ago, I'm going to have to learn guitar so that I can stand out front with one. So I put it on my list, got one for Christmas. Yeah. Nice. And so now I'm going to like, go through the process of actually learning it giving myself like a time frame, but I possess musical understanding. I know what a chord is. I yeah. know how to put them in order. All I have to do is figure out how to move my fingers to make those sounds. Yeah. So it's not a massive progression, but it is a progression and yeah. it's a tool. It's a new skill I'm acquiring to accomplish things that I'm already doing. Yeah. Now that's that kind of thing. You're getting better. Yeah. But at the end of the year, you know, you're going to be able to play X. 